So today I want to talk about the size by life module in Cascade. It's quite an easy module to use, so it shouldn't take me too long to explain. Uh, let me place one size by life. Not much changes now. And uh, well, there are multiple versions for distribution. Regularly, you, you are using the constant curve. At birth, you can change the time, and as you can already see, it starts small. I'm gonna make the spawn rate a bit lower so you can see it more clearly. And there we go. Every time it spawns, it starts with a very small zero percentage, and it grows at the end of the lifetime to 100% its size. Now obviously you can change it to 200% its, uh, its size as you can see here but you can also do quite a few other cool things. So let's say it starts out extremely small it grows about twice its normal size then slowly shrinks to normal size and then it shrinks again. So about 25% in of its lifetime it will be twice the size we put into the initial size here. At the moment is 25 by 25, etc. And in about 75% of its lifetime, it will grow back to its regular size, and at the end of its lifetime, it will shrink again. There we go. Zip. Shoop. Now, if you change these values, then obviously you will see a change in the way the size behaves. There. Now, you can change some values here. I mean, you can change to a constant if you really want to, but there's no benefit of this. I mean, why would you do this if you want, if you can use the initial size? Though, that's sad. Sometimes, if you understand what the initial size is, sometimes it, it might be handy to just double the size because math is easier this way. But that's something that's very personal, and I personally don't use it like this. Well, the particle parameter, you can change these values through a par uh, the blueprint or code, but I'm not using that either. Factor uniform, you could use the same way as explained the, the normal um, constant. So let's say the minimum size is normal size, and in the worst case, it's twice its size. But for some reason, as you can see, it behaves quite differently because every frame, it will change the size of it. You can use extremes, but as you can see, it should just slide between those two. Sadly, there's no way to only change this on spawn. I hope that's something that will change in Cas in uh, Niagara. And the same thing you have with the uniform curve. Uh, it's a bit hard to explain, but let me try to do it. At the beginning of its birth, it's very, very small, or its regular size. And at the end of its birth, it's either very, very big or even bigger. And well, as you can see, it might have situations where this is handy, but I never use it. So I tend to use the constant curve only. So very easily you just add two elements at the beginning of the lifetime and at the end of the lifetime. You can change sizes and everything in between of course, so there. And that's everything you really need to know about the size by life module I think. Um, well there's the multiply x, y and z and if you disable it then it will disable that separate angle like x, y or Z and that might sometimes be handy for sparks and that kind of stuff. I don't use it that much but it might be handy for some cool effects. Okay that's it. Take care.